There are a few trig limits that get special attention, and that's because um, you can't evaluate them by just substitution. Um, you have to use sort of your knowledge of those limits and other ways of deriving them. We used a calculator method to figure out that this limit here was equal to 1. So what about this one here? Um, limit as x goes to 0 of sine of 3x over x. You could either take out your calculator and just examine it, uh, which I encourage, but there are some like tricky algebraic ways you can actually get the answer as well. Uh, like for, for instance, some people would do a little trick like this. They would multiply the top and the bottom of this by 3. So this is 3 sine of 3x and then divide by 3 so that you didn't change anything so that these two 3's in blue here I just added and then what you could do is you use a little property of limits by taking that top 3 and putting it out front so it's sine of 3x divided by 3x and what's happens to be the case is that the structure of this you know ignoring that 3 out front this is the limit as x goes to 0 of the sine of 3x divided by 3x since those are the same the behavior ends up uh, being the same as as this here so this this here in, in blue is just a 1 so it's 3 times 1 which is a 3 all right, so I, I didn't go into detail of, of explaining that, but if you you know you can use your calculator to confirm this that this limit is three, and there's a whole bunch of problems like this that I uh, I've supplied in in class that you would see that would allow you to see this. This is the case. Um, but the more important problem is this one here, number two, because we're given a piecewise function that's incomplete, and it says what value should f of x equal at x equals 0 to make the function continuous? So remember, for a function to be continuous, continuous means that the limit as x goes to, in this case, 0 of f of x, we need that to equal the output when you plug in 0. Now right now, our function for every, pl for every x value except for 0 is sine of 4x over x. Now if you graph that on the calculator, you get kind of a you get some a function that kind of does this, jumps up to four. And there's no value at four because if you plug in zero, you're dividing by zero. Or you get zero over zero. But that's what the graph looks like. And so this is not continuous right now as it is. That's not continuous. The reason is because there's a removable discontinuity at x equals zero. Alright, so the, what this problem is asking is what should we make x equal to, uh, what should we make y equal to at 0 when x is 0 in order to fill in that hole and make the function continuous. So it's, it's actually almost too easy to be true, or too easy to be a problem, but the, the, the obvious answer is that if we just let y be 4, then now that will fill in this hole and our adjusted function there now is continuous all right the point the point i want to make is that what distinguishes a problem like this from one uh, in which a piece of it was like a polynomial or something was that we you actually have to know what the limit you actually have to know what the limit of uh sine 4x over x as x approaches 0 is in order to know that Four is the correct value to fill in that hole. So you have to have not prior knowledge of that limit before you know what the value to be is. And no, notice now this this holds, right? The limit as x goes to zero uh, is clearly four, looking at the graph, and f of zero is also four because we just made it four. So it checks out.